guys! Welcome to my channel. Say hi, Echo. <laughs> oh, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, well, I mean, like, this is my first video. My name is Caitlin, and my channel is mostly going to be about fashion, lifestyle, everyday type of vlogs with sometimes everything in between but today's video is going to be a fall look book I really wanted to make this video because I feel like this year I have my perfect fall wardrobe I've been scavengering for like the past month for all of my fall essentials and I finally have them and everything works together you can mix and match a lot of them are basics that will be timeless for seasons you can wear them over and over and some are just accessories specifically for the fall season that just looks great all year round now this lookbook is gonna consist of a lot of casual looks and also a lot of more fancier elevated maybe night out type of looks I'll walk and talk through it all together on a list and the lookbook will come in during the end and without further ado let's get started when it comes to fall you can never do too much with accessories for jewelry I think it's like really important because you can go either very classy and minimalist or you can go full grandma you know sometimes I do like the minimalist look but I also really love the grandma look where you just stack a bunch of gold rings some examples we have here today that I thrifted are like these cool <laughs> are these cool jeweled rings when you stack all these bad boys together like they're so stunning they look so nice your hands look so decorated bags for fall is really important because it can be a nice addition or a subtle little compliment to the outfit these are just a couple of examples I just thrifted one today. I can't wait to show you guys. First off, a structured black bag or any color, but it has to have like, like sturdiness to it, you know? And I thrifted this one. Cute. I thrifted also. I was so happy when I found this. I was like, there's no way that this cute ass bag was only, I think like $6. So good. See, we got the cute little buckle, the silverware action going on. And the shape oh my goodness i love the shape and it opens up just like that and for the one that i thrifted today tell me this isn't the most essential thing you've ever seen and i think it was only 10.49 a little pricey but i was like i need to have this because i'm gonna be wearing it all the time and of course for totes i have so many of these a black leather one a gray leather one and this typical beige one you know, beige goes with like everything. So I have these three tote bags. Now on to one of my favorite fall accessories are glasses. My go-to for this fall are these yellow framed ones. They just look so vintage. <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't really know what these glasses are called. The silhouette of the frames are very similar, so that's why I categorize them together. And they're really cute. I think they're like a statement look, especially if you have like a plain outfit on. And of course, the classics of all classics, just my plain brown turtle turtoise turtoise pattern sunglasses. So next up, we have headwear. I would love to own a AirPod Maxes, but I'm broke, so I can't. I can't have that. But another item that gives the illusion of that: earmuffs. What I love about these is that they don't hold back on how big and fluffy they are. Like they are almost the size of my head. Um, I love these white ones. I'm gonna be wearing these white ones so much because they'll go with anything. They obviously look really dramatic, but that's the point. I mean, they're obviously a lot more dramatic than um, headphones, but they keep your ears warm. And they still kind of like block out people from talking to you, so it kind of works the same way. The last item of accessories is scrunch socks, or like knit socks, or stockings, or leg warmers. Those are really in this fall. And I'm not gonna lie, I freaking love the look. It looks so cute, looks so good. It just makes it 
look more elevated and more like oh I really put an effort into my in my into my outfit. Now moving on to shoes. For the boots that I have, your classic staple black boot. Mm-hmm. Look at her. I love wearing this with skirts or like trench coats with little skirt. Um as the bottom it looks so good next when we're talking about shoes is loafers the only loafers i have i wish i had the doc martens because they're such a beautiful structure but you're gonna got no money so of course i went to the thrift store and found the next best thing you can never go wrong with this and at first i was like ew they're kind of ugly but they've really really grown on me next up on the list we have our this might be an unpopular opinion, but clogs. <laughs> so obviously your girl with thrifting. And I like that these aren't like the more typical clog look. They're more leather. They have like this contrast stitching and they were only like 12 bucks. And I think they're from Aldo, but I got them for the price of $12. Are you kidding me? Love that. Another staple for shoes for fall are chunky sneakers chunky sneakers and simple sneakers either or depending on what look you're going for i don't have the adidas samas but they're definitely next on my list i just have like these reebok classics and they look good with everything they look good with everything other shoes that i also have are new balances i just have these ones i do want to get um the black and white 530 ones but they're sold out almost like everywhere i'm gonna have to order on stock x but they're just they're literally the perfect basic shoe if we're talking about trends uggs especially like the ultra mini uggs or the mini uggs such a cute look like i never thought that egg uggs eggs i never thought that uggs could become back in style like that especially people really dressing them up but they are and they look great i don't have the mini so i have just the regular length ones but if i put like a wide-legged jean over it you would never know if it's a mini or a regular one so it's fine so on to my favorite pieces when it comes to fall are jackets first essential would be leather jackets my ultimate favorite leather jacket i thrifted look at her she is like the most beautiful wash on her and i love wearing leather jackets with um skirts because it kind of just hides the whole top outfit and it looks like this big silhouette on top i love 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 Another one of my favorite leather jackets, and I didn't have an extra hanger so that I could put it on here, is this long leather jacket that I also thrifted. Honestly guys, 85% of my closet is probably thrifted, so it's a great length. It's more of a boxy silhouette, which I love, and it's so versatile. Like, are you kidding me? You can never go wrong with just a simple black um, leather jacket. After from a leather jackets, we have these work for bird work i don't really know how you would how you call it but this is the one that i have it is a bit on the smaller side than i would like i would love it if it was more oversized and this one is very form-fitting but i still love the color of it the brown it also has like that cool little rustic where it looks very overworn and i have the perfect mix of long leather and fur which is this a beautiful gal Look at her. Whenever I wear this jacket, it's giving me major Cruella de Vil vibes. Like, I feel like such a villain. I'm having such a villain moment whenever I wear this. I love it. It looks so good. If we're talking about trends, obviously, we cannot forget to mention bomber slash varsity jackets. The only bomber slash varsity jacket that I have is this blue one that I got from Misguided about a year or two ago it's a very nice you know everyday fit going downtown grab a piece of, grab some coffee you know that type of vibe and next up on our list are basics what's great about basics is that you can mix and match them with almost anything and it'll go with everything so i guess obviously to start off are just lots of tank tops 
whether it's white, black, brown, orange, any color that you want. And obviously with that, you would need to have t-shirts to match. So I got this one from Maritzia, this one from Garage. And I love wearing t-shirts with like really um, baggy pants. I think it gives you the, like that um, downtown street girl look with like a bag. Ugh, love that. And of course, your long sleeves, whether it's a plain long sleeve, um, a collared long sleeve, or a turtleneck. These are really essential for fall because, you know, it's chillier and um, if you have more length to cover your skin so that you're warmer, the better. So I have this from H&M and it's a two-piece also with the same texture and color for the bottom. So it's a cute little loungewear moment, which I love. It's very simple, very casual, and I love pairing it with um, chunky sneakers. And of course, we have this array of sweaters, kunex, hoodies. I honestly highly encourage you to get kunex or sweaters in any color. Obviously, I love green kunex. Um, they go with anything. I love this crewneck slash windbreaker. It's it's huge. They have little toggles at the bottom so I can also make it smaller. Um, I like wearing this with khakis because, I don't know, the color combos just looks really nice to me. And then of course, we have our variation of sweaters. You can never go wrong with a printed um, knit. Like whether it's plain, like the one I showed you there, or it has like it plays with like um, the necklines, or it has writing on them. Like you can do so many things with just this one sweater. And of course, just wanted to show this as another example, another sweater. Thrifted this, you know, goes with everything. And then for a more um, interesting print, I have this. It's kind of wild the pattern i don't really know what it is i think it's like floral or abstract kind of print and i got it from the men's section as you can tell it's humongous and it has gray neutral tones it's for sweaters 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 not sweaters hoodies i have this gray one that i almost wear with everything because the color looks really good with any jean or with sweats they look really good with sweats Thank you guys so much for watching my video and that is it um i hope you found some form of inspiration for outfits you want to try or maybe certain pieces that you would like to invest in and um it was so much fun making this video and i can't wait to make more because fashion is honestly just a passion of mine and definitely looking at your fashion inspirations like mine are colleen diaz and matilda jerf they're just so fashionable you know you just they make you want to have such a nice wardrobe i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much guys have a great day or night bye